worship to Christ, rejoice in the Lord. There is many a brave soul, sorely pressed by temptation, almost ready to faint in the conflict with self and with the powers of evil. Do not discourage such a one in his hard struggle. Cheer him with brave, hopeful words that shall urge him on his way. Thus the light of Christ may shine from you. None of us liveth to himself. Romans 14 verse 7 By our unconscious influence, others may be encouraged and strengthened, or they may be discouraged and repelled from Christ and the truth. There are many who have an erroneous idea of the life and character of Christ. They think that he was devoid of warmth and sunniness, that he was stern, severe, and joyless. In many cases, the whole religious experience is colored by these gloomy views. It is often said that Jesus wept, but that he was never known to smile. Our Savior was indeed a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief, for he opened his heart to all the woes of men. But though his life was self-denying and shadowed with pain and care, his spirit was not crushed. His countenance did not wear an expression of grief and repining, but ever one of peaceful serenity. His heart was a wellspring of life, and wherever he went, he carried rest and peace, joy and gladness. Our Savior was deeply serious and intensely in earnest, but never gloomy or morose. The life of those who imitate him will be full of earnest purpose, they will have a deep sense of personal responsibility. Levity will be repressed, there will be no boisterous merriment, no rude jesting, but the religion of Jesus gives peace like a river. It does not quench the light of joy, it does not restrain cheerfulness nor cloud the sunny, smiling face. Christ came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and when his love reigns in the heart, we shall follow his example. Step to Christ, page 120.